Ah, another Friday, work week's over, exhausted, etc., etc., etc. And it's hazy, hot, and humid out, so I've got the air conditioning, everything running. So, I was poking around on YouTube earlier this week, and I saw another B. Bishop PCM video where he got the, he found this antique calculator, this antique Radio Shack calculator at some like thrift store or some savers out on one of those like secondhand stores or something like that. And that video actually mentioned a website that I want to take a look at. It's called RadioShackCatalogs.com and it's really cool. Basically what someone did was they scanned like every single Radio Shack catalog that has ever existed and then put it up in like, you know, virtual book format on the internet. So you can go to that site and actually look at Radio Shack catalogs from the early 2000s, the 90s, the 80s. You know, look at, you know, this is like a nice blast from the past. You just read about, you know, what, what cost what and what was hot way back when and stuff like that. You can see like cinder block size cell phones <laughs> back in the 80s and stuff like that. Like what Gordon Gecko used in the Wall Street movie. All that fun stuff. But sadly, Radio Shack is a shadow of its former self. When I was growing up, Radio Shack was the geek store but not even close nowadays. Here's an article from Fox Business, which I'll post a link to in the description. Radio Shack suspends dividend after second quarter loss. Uh, Radio Shack wants a go-to destination for household electronic needs, blah 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 blah. Said it would stop paying a dividend after 25 years and re reported its, wide its widest quarterly loss since 1996 as the retailer struggles to remain relevant to consumers. Yeah, I think what happened with Radio Shack was Radio Shack got Netflixed. <laughs> they've they just they've had way too many eggs in the uh, in the brick and mortar basket as the internet has taken off right under their feet. There is RadioShack.com, but if I go to like reseller ratings or something like that, the ra the things people are saying about Radio Shack's online site are like complete crap compared to something like a mono price. Let's go take a look. Ugh, 1.79 out of 10. <laughs> Very first comment. This used to be the top retailer for electronics, but not anymore. Oh, that's sad. But even sadder, see that 1.79 right there? Here's best crap, 1.95 out of 10. Uh, what does this say when even Best Buy is doing better on this site than, than Radio Shack? Oh, uh, what a pity. But uh, I think uh, there is something that could skew these numbers, though, for retailers versus e-tailers. Some people jump on the internet and they they write a bad review of a terrible store experience they had, and they don't necessarily, uh, you know. So you may see like so and so X Y Z Corporation on there, and actually people are just complaining about store experiences, even if the online portion is better. But uh, let's compare it to some other e-tailers here. Let's look at Newegg. 8.81, huh? Slipping. They used to be like a, uh, they used to be like a nine something overall. 8.81. Yeah, I can see where Newegg is slipping. They are kind of screwing up some things here and there, getting a little uh, old in their old age with the things like the paper bag stuffing and putting processors on the bottom of boxes or or other shock sensitive components like motherboards, something like that, on the bottom of a box with no packing material underneath and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, can't really say, but it's still way better than Radio Shack. 9.8 for B&H Photo and Video, which is my preferred. Anything, if I see something at B&H and I see something in Newegg, I get the thing from B&H because, uh, you know, they do some. They do a lot of the stuff that Newegg used to do, like pack the top and bottom of a box. <laughs> and monoprice.com, 9.6. But, uh, yeah, Radio Shack's in pretty sad shape. What isn't in sad shape, though, is this site right here, RadioShackCatalogs.com. Check it out, they even wrote it in the old Radio Shack font. <laughs> uh, it's basically, what is it? this website is de dedicated to America's technology store, Radio Shack. It's been in business since 1921, whoops, over 90 years, blah blah blah, 65 of those years produced an outstanding electronics and tech catalog, surpassing the catalog of all rival companies. 
Through the decades, this catalog expanded to continue in the system. Well, why don't you just go to the site? I'll post a link to it. Of course, if I'm doing a video about a website, why not post a link to it? But yeah, Radio Shack catalogs from how many years? Uh, let's see here. So, what can you do with an archive of old Radio Shack catalogs? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, enter the Radio Shack catalog archive. I gotta post a link to this in the menu system on my blog. The Radio Shack's first catalog, The Radio Shack, 1939. Oh, no catalogs during World War II. That's, uh, yeah, anyway, The Radio Shack Corporation wanted, oh, I guess he's looking for catalogs from the 40s. Uh, Radio Shack, Radio Shack. You know what? Let's actually go look up some stuff. Let's go to like some of the 1990s catalogs and take a look at uh, like the keyboard that I have, the teenage keyboard. Let's take a look at Radio Shack's competitor from back in those days. Yeah, here's what I'm talking about. It's like a virtual book. You can zoom in, or you can zoom in, or you can you know, zoom out. And I just zoomed in on this by mistake. You zoom in, you can zoom out, and I think it, if you touch the edge of the, if you tap the edge of this or something, or no, you choose previous and next, and it flips through like a book. It's pretty neat. I I'm, I got it mixed up back there with like uh, Kindle books and stuff, where you tap, where you drag the edge of the screen in order to move it. I think I used to have this catalog back when it was new. Yeah, I think I remember this type of stuff. But uh, look at all this old stuff from the 90s. Uh, portable keyboard, darn air fresheners going off in the middle of the film here. Portable keyboard has 49 mini keys, 100 presets. Let's zoom in on that. I think that's the Concert Mate 575. Looks like it. Yep, that's it. I, I can recognize it. This is this was the first keyboard that I ever had. My folks got me one of these. What was it? It was eighty dollars in 1998. My folks actually got me one of these in uh, 1997 because. We had taken a trip to see my late grandmother back when she was still alive, back in 96. And my late grandfather had, um, had an organ, an electronic organ, which was like a, it's like an electric organ, like what you'd see in like a, uh, like what you'd see in a church or something, or a Hammond organ at a rock concert. But it was a late model electronic organ. It had some synthesizers built in. So it kind of resembled a keyboard more than like, you know, something you'd hear in like, no, a 70s rock song or something like that. So I, I, I basically uh, showed a bit of an interest in playing keyboards from messing around with that organ on our trip to, uh, to go see uh, my grandmother back then. So my folks were like, you know what, you know, this might just be a phase that, that he goes through. Let's get him like a cheap keyboard with not even regulation size keys and see if he sticks with it. Well, I played the heck out of this sucker with its itty bitty keys and that's when, the, that's when my folks decided to get me a, a keyboard with regulation size keys and I'll bet if I do some digging around I can probably find it. But yeah, the Concert Mate 575. Small size but big features. Features 100 rhythms, 8 note polyphony sound which is bad because it can only play 8 notes at a time and not good for someone with 10 fingers or someone playing the keys really fast. You'd often cut out, you know, you'd often cut yourself off as if you played the keys too fast. <laughs> Auto accompaniment and tempo controls, built-in demo song, five AA batteries or AC adapter, 80 bucks. Yeah. Cheap chunk of plastic, anywho. There it is. The worst keyboard that I've ever had. The Radio Shack Concert Mate 1100. This thing broke under normal use because of how cheap the keys were. Now I've got that keyboard, I've got that Casio keyboard from 1998. This is from the 1996 catalog. I, I guess it must have been like an old model that they had around because I, I didn't, you know, my folks got this for me at like, in, uh, I think it's, I think it was for Christmas, yeah, it was for Christmas of 1997. So this was an old model that was still in one of the stores around here the following year, but I didn't see this one in the catalog. But Concert Made 11, oh, it says new too, so it came out in 96. So I guess it went from the, cat. it started in the catalog and the stores maybe, and then stayed in the stores afterwards, but can connect to a MIDI equipped PC, 61 touch sensitive keys, 100 preset sounds, 100 rhythms, real time memory, source compositions for playback, blah blah blah. $330 for this thing. The concert may, uh, the ca actually the Casio that I have, the WK1250, was around the $300 mark with 76 keys and far superior build quality. 
This thing under normal use started breaking keys after less than a year of having it. We had Radio Shack fix it once and I broke it again. Now, it wasn't that I was banging on the keys either. I was trying to you know, go delicate with it and stuff, but it's just the thing just broke under normal use. Finally, for Christmas of night, Christmas 98, I got the uh, Casio keyboard and not one single broken key since. But wow, $330 for that piece of junk. This Radio Shack catalog site's pretty neat. Let's look at some older catalogs and uh, maybe look at some old computers or something. <laughs> Welcome back to 1995. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Radio Shack catalog from 1995. Before we take a look at what they've got for computers back when Windows 95 was new and exciting, let's take a look at the format. Now, the, now obviously, we showed, I've showed you the... Uh, so we've got main menu, which takes you back to the catalogs. Zoom in and zoom out. You can basically zoom in and zoom out by clicking and by clicking and unclicking, or, click, or clicking once to zoom in, click twice to zoom out. You've got next and previous buttons, and then down here you have, you can actually pick a page to go to, but it's really, really pokey. You have to click where you wanna go without moving your mouse. If you click with while moving your mouse, it just zooms, so you gotta be really careful when clicking through the page guides. But other than that, let's let's take a look at this 1995, what, what to look for in a computer system. A computer system is composed of several different components. Oh, look at that vintage thing. What's it? What, no, a bunch of PCs and stuff. Doing this operating system, Apple a monitor, printer, peripherals, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Input devices like that thing. Most computers come with a keyboard and a mouse. Software is quick in monitors. Most monitors today have 14 inch cathode ray tubes with an increasing number of 15 inch CRT monitors. <laughs> Uh, resolution ma manages uh, measures how many pixels appear on the screen. Standard VGA is 640 by 400. Super VGA is 800 by 600. Radio Shack's monitors offer flicker-free operation, especially when the monitor is not <laughs> interlaced. <laughs> With printers, the first big choice is between a laser printer, an inkjet printer, or a dot matrix printer. Ah, oh, let's 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 quit messing with this and just go to the next page. Ooh, the ultimate multimedia PC. <laughs> the Advantage Adventure 6066D. Take the adventure of a lifetime with this very special multimedia PC. The features are astounding with room to add even more. Here's everything you could want in a multimedia PC. 486DX processor, 66 megahertz clock speed, 8 megabytes of RAM, that's meg for all you folks there. 1 megabyte VRAM, back when video RAM was still upgradable and you didn't just buy a new video card. Uh, a 420 megabyte hard drive, dual speed CD-ROM drive, with photo CD compatibility, a 14.4 bit, bit per second, date, fax data, voice modem, local bus video, a sound blaster audio card, microphone, and speakers. Of course, this being the 90s, computer speakers back then were little plastic boxes with paper cones in them that could barely play anything correctly. <laughs> A wealth of software was handpicked and bundled, especially for the AST Advantage. <laughs> A collection of programs that says, uh, what do we got here? Ooh, Windows, generic Windows box, Microsoft Works, the Oxymoron program, Lotus Organizer, Prodigy Internet, CompuServe, Cinemania 94, MS-DOS, Encarta, Microsoft Golf. <laughs> yeah. What? No, Windows 95? Oh, well, well, I guess Windows 95 didn't come out at the very, very beginning of 1995. Maybe I'll see it in the 96 catalog. Ooh, experience the power of multimedia! With their amazing sights, sounds, and information, multimedia PCs have become the new standard for home computing. This tan The Tandy multimedia PC... Oh, Tandy was still around back then? With all the included software, is a great starter system. Oh, look at this. Is that a Caddy CD-ROM drive? Uh, let's see. It's a third, it's a 375 MS with multi-session codec. That looks like a Caddy drive. It doesn't look like a... Or maybe it's a tray loader. I don't know. I remember the early days with disc caddies where you had to load the CD inside this giant floppy disk case thing to fit it inside the drive. Kind of similar to a magneto-optical disc back then. 
uh, experience the power of multimedia, etc., etc., etc. 486SX, 25 megahertz, 4 megs of RAM, 512K video. <laughs> Uh, these are still DOS machines, so like, but Tandy for crying out loud. <laughs> uh, whoa, what's this laptop? Notebook PCs deliver power to go. Come to Radio Shack for the best name brand notebook computers on the market. <laughs> Look at that thing with this little trackball and some. Oh, it's a Tandy, too. <laughs> uh, accessories and upgrades for Tandy notebook computers. Ah, uh, next page. Uh, express order. Any of these names of blast from the past for anyone? Well, a lot of them are still around. Yeah, available expressly for you. Ooh, enhance your PC with a quality Tandy monitor. Ooh, Super VGA for 600 bucks. 600 bucks for a 15 inch CRT monitor. <laughs> 400 bucks for a 14 inch. Budget price $250 for a 14 inch Tandy CRT. Uh, hmm. Computers back then. Maybe I should check the 96 catalog. Um, you know, check the 1996 catalog. See if there's anything for with Windows 95 and stuff. Ah, uh, multimedia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, quality dot matrix and inkjet printers. Let's check the 96 catalog before taking a look at something from the 80s. There it is, finally, Windows 95, America's PC store. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything for systems. It just says, go to the store and we'll hook you up with a computer, etc., etc., etc. Ooh, nice, uh, those, these old programs here. Print Shop Deluxe, the 11th hour. Wing Commander 3 for PC, that's neat. Prodigy, etc., this is from pre-World Wide Web type stuff. Mouse pad, five bucks, that doesn't change much. Cordless mouse, uh, looks really primitive. Ah, look at all this ancient stuff. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go way back and look at some really retro stuff. Yeah, yeah, here we go. 1988. Already things looking really retro, including the poofy hair on the lady with the camcorder. What do we got? Uh, let's see. Computers. Computer equipment. Page 160. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Price and technology breakthrough. Lightweight handheld cellular phone. Carry it along with you to make or take calls wherever you go. Keep in touch or out of your office. 1500 bucks for the phone. Commercial lease is low as $49.95. Ah, look at this thing. <laughs> Even use it on your boat. <laughs> Just like Gordon Gecko in the movie. Ah, Radio Shack celebrating its 67th year with over 35 million satisfied customers nationwide. The Technology Store. Alrighty, what do we got? Page 162. Let's see if we can get that to work in this menu, in this clunky menu thing. Click. Oh, it actually worked this time. Good. Affordable Tandy Color Computers. Our most powerful color computer three with razor sharp graphics. 200 bucks. Uh, does it even have any? Oh, oh, there we go. Nice resolutions there. 160 by 192, 320 by 192, or 640 by 192. 128K extended basic. The machine ran off of basic. Oh, specifications. Microprocessor. BO9. What the? Less than a megahertz, so an Apple IIe was faster than that. Unless you got the 1.78 megahertz model, in which you'd need a 2GS to have a faster computer than that. 57 keys, a video display, etc., etc., 128K of RAM, expandable 512K. Remember, folks, 64, 640K of memory is all anybody's ever going to need. <laughs> 21 commands and ex en extended, enha enhanced extended basic, 1500 baud cassette, yeah, recorder optional, so tape drives only with that sucker. Uh, and it outputted to a TV if you didn't want to actually buy a monitor. The ever popular color computer too. Yeah, definitely a TV style machine there. Increased data storage capacity with a color disk drive for 300 bucks for that thing. <laughs> Deluxe joystick, $30. Looks like the one from the Apple IIe days. 
Well, this is the Apple IIe. Actually, yeah, it's just before the... No, the 2GS came out in 88, I think. Ah, look at all this stuff. Yeah, well, we can sit here looking at this all day long. Or, oh, disks, disk software for color computers. Get more power with OS 9. Deskmate for your color computer. Ooh, Dungeons of Daggerath. Little basic game thing something. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure most of you will probably have a lot more fun. I'm sure... Oh, oh, there's something I haven't seen in a really long time. An acoustic coupler. So if you use any kind of modem, you can hook it up and then just put it on your telephone. And instead of, you know, instead of having a modem... Instead of having a modem take the plug directly, if you just had a telephone sitting around and you didn't want to have to, you didn't want to have to, uh, you know, mess with getting another phone line run for your computer, you just use an acoustic coupler and have your computer, you know, actually make noise with its modem into your telephone handset. I haven't seen any of those in a really long time. This is light pen or some kind of scanner thingy. Ah, welcome back to the days of big hair, pastel color shirts, colorblind fashion, struck by lightning hairdos, and Radio Shack catalogs that are about as retro as it gets. Although I do remember as a little kid wandering through the mall and seeing some Tandy computers at uh, some of these stores. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> kind of looks like the Apple Lisa almost, <laughs> except it's not. Same with that little blippo thing. Value price direct connect modem. What kind of speed does it get? Ooh, 300 BPS for 60 bucks. Woo! Acoustic coupler for portable computers, two line phone and modem. And this is 80s money we're talking about here. So stuff that costs 50 bucks ain't like 50 bucks now. Ooh, ain't like 50 bucks nowadays. 286 technology for today's businesses. The Tandy 300HL gives you more power for less money. 1500 bucks. <gasps> hey, a $2,000 dinosaur. There we go. $2599. 32-bit technology. 16 megahertz clock speed. OS2 ready. <laughs> a price breakthrough in 386 base technology. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose I could sit here all day. Ooh, there's what passed for a notebook back in those days. More like a suitcase computer. <laughs> Get MS-DOS power in a portable briefcase-sized computer. Uh, 7 megahertz clock speed, 8, 768K of RAM, two 3.5-inch disk drives. <laughs> I'm sure I could sit here flipping through these catalogs all day and make this video last for like hours and stuff, but uh, I think you get the point. RadioShackCatalogs.com. They're not a, it's, they're not affiliated with Radio Shack, but uh, it's one heck of a blast from the past if you want to take a look at stuff from back in the day. <laughs> Definitely check it out. Yeah, actually I do have some errands that I should be running right now, so uh, we could make this video like huge, And uh, but I suppose it would probably be better if you folks just went to this site and took a look, your, took a look yourself. RadioShackCatalogs.com If you want a blast from the past, surf on over there and just do some browsing. You, know, you might be surprised how something as simple as looking through old Radio Shack catalogs can uh, use up so much of your time because it's cool to read and you know see all this retro stuff and things like that. Anywho, till next time, this is Multimedia J signing off. Thanks for stopping by.